All right, today we're gonna to talk about absolute value, and I'm absolutely certain that you will think this is easy. Yet every year, sixth graders have some issue with absolute value, even though it is very simple, they have problems with it. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, yeah, Mr. Meager, you're the one with the college degree who's done all this math for years and years and years. Easy for you to say that it's really simple. Well, yeah, that's true. I am pretty smart. You know, I know that. You know that too. But anyway, actually it is pretty simple. And uh, what sixth graders get hung up on is that negative sign. And that seems to be every year um, seeing a negative and they kind of freak out. Okay. So we're going to walk you through it. It's very simple. And most of the time when you see an absolute value problem, this is how it's going to look. You're going to have a rational number. Remember, rational numbers are integers, positive or negative, decimals, positive or negative, fractions, positive or negative. So you'll see an integer and it'll be surrounded by lines. One line before, one line after. Now, only thing absolute value really means is they just want to know the distance from zero and they don't care if it's left or right. Now we've talked all this time about, oh, okay, if you go left of zero on the number line, it's negative. You go right of zero on the number line, it's positive. With absolute value, they don't care. They just want to know how far it is from zero. doesn't matter if it's left or right. So let's look at this problem. Negative four. They want to know the absolute value. Well, the absolute value is how far it is on a number line from zero. So zero is our starting point. And if we count how far it is from zero, that is our absolute value. So if we look, it's a negative number, so we know we're going left. So we count one, two, three, four. So the absolute value is four. Now I know what you're thinking. Well, why don't you put your negative there? You went negative. Remember, absolute value, they don't care about signs. Don't care at all. They just want to know how far it is. Okay? Same with this. Absolute value of positive 2. Well, it's going to be how far it is from 0. So let's look at our number line. Start at 0. And how many jumps do we have to take to get to 2? 1, 2 absolute value of positive 2 is 2. Now, let me tell you this, and this will help you out a lot. Never, ever, ever will you have an absolute value that is a negative. Ever. Ever, 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 ever. Never, ever. That will help you a lot for this one, okay? Now, that can be fractions and decimals as well, so it doesn't matter. These have been integers, but fractions, decimals, they all work the same way. I'll give you one good example. Maybe two, because they're so easy. So I'm looking for the absolute value of negative seven eighths. Well, absolute value is how far it is from zero. It's seven eighths. Never a negative. Decimal, 583 thousandths. What's the absolute value? 583 thousandths. Simple. Absolutely brilliant. See, I'm just throwing out the puns there. Isn't it great? I know you're loving it. You're loving it. You're falling out of your chair. I know. I'm so funny. Comedy, you know, it's hard, but I've mastered it. All right, so let's talk a little bit now. That's the easy part. Now, as you, if you know your math, that sometimes they're going to try to trick you a little bit. That's why I'm here. I'm trying to help you out. Because remember, I like you. I don't do this for everybody. I like you. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to help you out this one time. Okay? So um, they may say, okay, give all the numbers that have the given absolute value. And they may just give you a, the absolute value. Basically, we're working backwards. So they say, okay, what are all the, the rational numbers that could possibly have the answer of this as the absolute value? So they're giving you the absolute value first and want to know all the numbers, all the integers that could possibly work with that. Well, 
what integers could possibly have the absolute value of 8? There's two of them. One of them is positive 8, and the other negative 8, because the absolute value of positive 8 is 8. The absolute value of negative 8 is 8. They tried to get all tricky on you. I know. Okay? Don't fall for those tricks. You're smarter than that. Okay? Hopefully that helps. Remember, I told you, absolute value is easy. It's absolutely awesome. Ah, one last pun. I know you wanted one. You were waiting for it. See you next time.